Well, today's International Overdose Awareness Day. We thought creating a memorial garden to remember those who we've lost to overdose, to have a place of reflection, meditation, was a wonderful idea to be able to put forth. I'm really excited to see this garden come to life in the coming months as a place where people can uh, remember those they've lost and have a moment of reflection on, on what's happening in the world today. The Root Center is one of the preeminent nonprofit partners in our community that's really making a difference for people in recovery. And so I'm just grateful to be here and to support the event. 2020 saw a 14% increase in overdose deaths compared to 2019. And the statistics for 2021 don't look to be a whole lot better. I lost a mom to drugs, um, a dad to drugs. I've been struggling with about 40 years, so um, for the last three years I got some tools and, you know, through Root and through my counselor, Ms. Hillary, and everybody that's here that's in IOP and mental health has shown me the way. Recovery is very much possible. This disease can be conquered and people can move forward with their lives. So this garden is really special for a lot of reasons because at the end of the day, um, I think we're all only a couple decisions away from very different lives. It's a meandering labyrinth or stroll garden that gives you the opportunity to have areas for congregation, for social activity, for silent meditation, and for memorialization. We've included all sorts of elements that um, I think are special to root. This is very temporary, this event and the creation of a garden, but we feel it's going to have a permanent um, lasting impact on those that are uh, remembering their family and loved ones, but also considering helping with this continued endeavor to fight uh, addiction. Something like this uh, uh, takes a village. We're a nonprofit. Uh, so to be able to build something like this takes a lot of collaborators, uh, people willing to donate their time, uh, their expertise, and I'm just so thankful that there are those uh, companies, organizations in the state of Connecticut who just wanted to so jump on board.